Good morning and welcome to the news from UTV. City of Derry Airport has reopened this morning, four days after being shut down by the Civil Aviation Authority. The CAA said it was satisfied that work had been undertaken since their inspection. However, with Ryanair flights not due to resume until tomorrow, there has been some confusion amongst the travelling public. Susan Miller reports. The British Airways flight to Dublin at 7.40 this morning reopened commercial traffic at City of Derry Airport. The four-day closure over a bank holiday weekend has undoubtedly hit the coffers of the council-run airport as well as its reputation. The decision to reopen was taken at lunchtime yesterday, too late for Ryanair to resume its schedule today. Its flights won't restart until tomorrow, but it seemed that message hadn't been communicated to dozens of passengers. We just didn't know because we didn't watch the news <laughs> and like we don't know what to do yet but they say they'll sort it out for us. I didn't wake really early this morning, I hope to come back in France and now we don't know what we're going to do. I'm travelling today back to London and um, I'm stressed anyway because I have to go to work and the, the flight is being cancelled. And I'm not quite happy about it, you know. I think it's an absolute joke that uh, we've been put on the, on the map for all the wrong reasons. And if they give an analogy that if this was a, a manufacturing factory and the factory was closed down for five days without production, with the potential loss of clients, would something not be done? Would the managing director not be fired? What has happened here? You come and tell us that it's been closed down. It's just a hiccup. You know, and as a representative for health and safety for my own country, I think that the, uh, the CEA haven't just come close to the airport down overnight. They've always given them advance notice. And the laughable thing is that they've been able to fix the problems in two or three days. It appears the CAA action to close the airport temporarily came out of an invitation from airport management to inspect their new £14 million investment of safety. Later today, a meeting of Derry City Council will discuss what went wrong and whether any heads should roll as a result of the closure. Susan Miller, UTV Live. Firefighters have been tackling a blaze at a mill in Cyan Mills. The fire, which was discovered in a disused part of Herdman's Mill at 10 o'clock last night, caused extensive damage. An acetylene cylinder has been found in the mill and the area remains cordoned off. The fire is being treated as suspicious. Animal carcasses are being dumped at a beauty spot in Armagh. The bodies of dead cows and sheep have been dumped illegally in a forest at the Ballon Temple Scenic Point on the slopes of Sleeve Gullion. Local councillors are warning that the dead animals are posing a health risk. A couple from North Belfast have had a lucky escape after their car was attacked on the city's West Link. Jared Brown almost lost control of his vehicle after youths threw up to four bricks from a footbridge at Roden Street, smashing his windscreen last Thursday night. Two people have been killed in stoning incidents on the road in recent years. Police investigating the attack are studying CCTV footage. Marks and Spencers are set to create 50 new jobs with a major redevelopment of their store at Sprucefield outside Lisburn. The company is taking over a neighbouring retail unit to create a new home store and a 130-seater restaurant. Now, in local football, the managerial merry-go-round continues. John Cunningham today stepped down as manager of Limavady United. He's being linked with the vacant job at Derry City. Meanwhile, Alan MacDonald is set to be unveiled later today as the new Glentoran manager. Capped 52 times for Northern Ireland, MacDonald was a coach under former boss Paul Miller. Last week, Roy Walker was announced as the new Glens boss, but was unable to take up the post as he didn't hold the required UEFA coaching licence. He's also expected to issue a statement to the media later this week. That's all from UTV for now. We'll have more on the lunchtime news at 10 to 2. Hope you'll join us then. And don't forget, you can keep up to date with hourly bulletins on our radio station, U105, and our website, U.TV. The local weather forecast is coming up next. Have a good morning. The UTB Weather is sponsored by Progressive's Premium Saver, the instant access account that sees your savings grow.
will be sunshine between the showers today, but all parts will become wet tomorrow afternoon. This afternoon, most places will stay dry and sunny, but there will be a scattering of heavy showers across the central part of the province, temperatures peaking at a modest 14 Celsius. After a damp evening in places, the showers will disappear overnight, leaving most places with clear spells. A few fog patches could form later as temperatures drop to only one Celsius. After a bright start in places tomorrow, thickening cloud will bring rain from the south. All parts will be wet for three or four hours in the afternoon and temperatures peaking 15 Celsius. For a TV Weather is sponsored by Progressive, your homegrown building society. If you would like more information about the weather for today and the week ahead, you can call us on 09001 50 55 50.